at times. It's very stressful to be a parent. I think it's a very big mistake to think that your baby is manipulative. Now you're going to think that at a certain point. It's probably, you know, sort of just one of those thoughts that will come up when you've reached the end of your rope and you're really stressed out, and that happens a lot. But when you notice the thought that your baby is manipulating you and you're going to teach him a lesson or anything like that, that's a warning sign. That's a good time to step back and realize uh, maybe you're extra tired or something like that. Maybe someone else needs to be relating to the baby at the moment because the babies are not being manipulative. They have particular needs and they are just letting the world know and your job is to meet their needs and you can't over meet their needs as long as you are listening very, very deeply to your own experience and to the baby's experience. Now, of course, that will be shaped by your own childhood, the way you were parented as a child, so there's lots of issues around here. But say when a child is crying, and uh, you know, my own impulse is to pick the child up, relate to their distress in one way or another. Just the touch again makes an enormous difference. I prefer to hold the babies as much as I possibly can. When they can run and they wiggle out of your arms, great. But until then, I like to hold them, wear them, you know, do whatever to keep that contact as close as possible. Uh, and to, in terms of sleeping too, I mean, I do think that children need to sort of be left alone enough so that they learn to self-regulate and to self-soothe, but not to the point where uh, they're self-soothing because they're not getting their needs met by the adults who brought them into the world. So uh, everybody will find their own balance around that, but I would err on the side of the, the, you cannot spoil an infant. Trust your own instincts and hold it as much as possible. We've been hearing, of course, from experts at this conference, the more you hold the baby, the better. The more you touch the baby, the better. You can just give them as much as you possibly can for as long as you possibly can, but in some kind of balance so that you don't exhaust yourself. You need maybe perhaps some time off, somebody else to care for the baby, whether they're sleeping or not, get enough sleep yourself. But I don't think that it's possible to actually spoil a child. That's another one of those mental uh, traps that you can fall into. Uh, but if you are really conscious of the relationship and, and uh, asking what it's like from the child's perspective rather than just from your own perspective, then you'll see the child is not manipulating you. It needs, it's, has, needs to have its needs met and we're the people to do it.